Good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and today is the 16th of January, and today we venerate the uh, precious chains of the holy and all-glorious apostle Peter, and uh, that's, the trope, that's the icon up above there for today, and uh, the troparian. You came to us without leaving Rome through the precious chains that you wore. First enthroned of the apostles, we bow down to them in faith and pray. Through your prayers to God, grant us great mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let's say good morning to uh, to Robin and what is that? <laughs> let's say good morning to Robin and Christina. And, good uh, morning. Today, like I was telling you, today is a uh, a sad day a sad day my coffee maker broke it's not working oh. and i'm it only made me like a quarter of a cup of coffee oh i gotta yeah, fix that get uh, some of mine bring the coffee, the coffee oh, okay cup. here <laughs> <laughs> all righty so let me see here well let me see there's kurt and violetta and jonathan um Robin, would you start us off with our scriptures this morning? Absolutely. We've got Acts 12, 1 through 11 for the epistle. And then we go to John 21, 14 through 25 for our gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison, and struck Peter on and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands, and the angel said to him, Gird yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him, and he did not know what was done by the angel was real but thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and second guard posts, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord, and they went out and went down one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, Now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel, and has delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the Jewish people. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And if we go on with that, the angel leaves him out there in the middle of the street after he's broken him out of prison. And Peter comes to himself and he says, what do I do now? He's waiting for the sirens to go off and there's a prison break and all that. So he goes to the safe house where there are other Christians he knocks on the door. Someone says, who is there? It's me, Peter. Let me in. And they look outside. Yeah, it's Peter. And they close the door. And the person goes and runs, tells everyone, Peter's outside. Peter's outside. Well, let him in. <laughs> Peter's out there. Oh, I'm going to get arrested again. They don't let me in. Oh, So kind of funny, I thought. Okay, 
our gospel. We have got John 21, 14 through 25. This is the third time Jesus showed himself to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. So when, so I'm sorry, I forgot to patch something. So when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. He said to him again, a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wished. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish. This he spoke, signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me. Then Peter, turning around, saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following, who also had leaned on his breast at the supper, and said, Lord, is, who is the one who betrays you? Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, but Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If I will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? You follow me. Then this saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him he would not die, but if, but if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who testifies of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that could be written. Amen. Amen. Of course, that's the reconciliation of Peter to Jesus after the, not, the three denials. Well, let's say uh, mm -hmm. good morning to Joyce Marie, as she prays that the good Lord creates in her a clean heart. And I'm sure she does have a clean heart. Nellie Card Valley, good morning. Karen Kalanovich, praying our day is blessed as we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. May his memory be eternal. And there's Deborah Goodall. Good, good morning, morning, Deborah. I was thinking of you yesterday, and yes, even though there's no coffee in it this morning, it didn't make much, but uh, I have that cup. Amen. Gospel Minute Live. And I had my cup yesterday. Yes. And Lena May, good morning. Good morning to you, my little sister. Over here, Jonathan Nichols. Good morning, Steve, Robin, Pippin, Christina, and everyone. Violetta, good morning. Kurt Lytle, good morning, dear prayer family. May our risen Lord bless each of us today according to our needs. Amen. And please, show you care by liking and sharing. And that is important. That is important. That helps get the word out. And let me see here. Earl, Earl and Vicki are here from Nashville. Good morning. Jonathan Nichols. Oh, no. Time to go to Wally World for another coffee maker. <laughs> oh. And Catherine Houston. Good morning. Alioni Shanero. Christina, why is Alioni here? Alioni is here because we love each other and she loves God and God loves her. And also to remind us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Thank yeah. you, Alioni. I love it. Yeah. I love these words. And Amber says, sorry, Steve. 
That's a sad <laughs> way to start the day. <laughs> oh, boy. There's always a Turkish. Yeah, they don't oh. break. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I've had it for 10 years. Yeah. All righty. I have to go back to a, a tin can and, co and boiling water and coffee grounds. Of course, we don't have any <laughs> coffee grounds. Oh, I got those curing things. All righty. <laughs> Yeah, all righty. Well, uh, oh, tonight, by the way, is our uh, Akathist for those who've fallen asleep. <laughs> so if you uh, if you have someone uh, that you want us to pray for who's fallen asleep, uh, tune in and put their names in the comment section this evening. Do that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, Christina, would you lead us in prayer this morning? I will, but I would like to read the meditation, if it's okay Oh, with yes. You. Read the meditation. All right. The quote from St. Nectarius of Pentapolis. Through prayer, we flee to God. Okay. No, I don't want to hear it. It's too short. I'll repeat. Through prayer, we flee to God. How beautiful. Yes. I love it. And we'll do that tonight when we pray for our beloved ones that passed and the one on the next page is that long and we'll make kurt <laughs> read that one mm, i might be here tomorrow morning so i'll i'll help kurt a little bit okay i don't think he has a copy of it you oh so i may have yeah. to end up reading it <laughs> all right okay let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in hell, be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From my bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear, let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me. Slothful and sinful as I am, neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. <clears throat> Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to him thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, was spoke by the prophets, and I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission, remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and, high and Lord of mercies, whoever workest great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious wonderful and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess to thee, who art God, glorified in all and by all, the Eternal Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who are ever blessed, and all blameless, and the Mother of our God more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God the word and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, Teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Amen. All righty. Well, thank you both so much. What a way to start the day off. No coffee, but yeah. we had Jesus. Amen. We had Jesus. <laughs> and Robin is reminding me, there's always two things that we must remember. Robin, what's number one? That God loves us. He really, really, really does. He does. And uh, Christina, what's number two? Number two is that we love you, and we really, really do. Amen. And number three, Kurt... Please, share. Like and share. Amen. Like and well, share. now's the time that we pray for each other. So let me get my prayer list out here. And, oh, other ways. There we go. All right. Oh, Have a blessed day. See you tonight. Yeah. Oh, Barbara Anderson is here. Yeah. And let me see here. 
she says, I'm getting a whole bunch of uh, notifications over the top of Barb here. Um, good morning, everyone. Thank you for your continued prayers. My son arrived home. He was there to visit. He had about a two-hour drive back home after his visit with his mother, Barb. Um, but he came home safely. And uh, she goes on to say, we are planning procedures regarding my heart surgery. Please continue prayers for my health as I have other medical concerns. I love you all. Amen. Oh, Lord, Amen. we pray for Barb. Uh, we, we thank you for bringing, first, we thank you for bringing Archpriest Michael back home safely. And we pray for a successful heart surgery if she needs it, Lord. And uh, we pray to your Lord for a successful heart surgery for her and uh, that you uh, bless and guide those surgeons. We pray for that. Amen. All righty. So, we'll see you all tonight, I guess. We'll see you all tonight. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Well, Lord, uh, we ask that you remember and have mercy on all those who we are about to pray for this, uh, this morning. And, Lord, we pray for Anita Dalton and her husband, David. We pray for them. We pray for uh, uh, Anita's uh, brother, Robert. Well, very sick, Lord. And... Uh, also suffering from uh, stage four leukemia. So we pray, dear Lord, for miracle healing for him. And Lord, we pray uh, that you uh, alleviate his pain and suffering. Now, Lord, we pray for uh, Steve, uh, Anita's uh, brother-in-law. Lord, we pray that uh, we thank you for healing him from cancer, cancer-free. Thank you, Lord, and uh, thank you for that. Now we pray that he remains cancer-free. And we pray for Anita's daughter, Sarah, that uh, you send her the Holy Spirit to help her and guide her. We pray for that. Raymond Cannon asks to pray for his mother, Sherry, and Althea. They both suffer from cancer. Catherine Manai, she, uh, she asks to pray for Beatrix and uh, Emily and her children and Alexander for her for health and spiritual and physical and emotional and health and protection. And Lord, she also asks to pray for Father Stefan, Father Arcady at their mission parish and at the uh, Pokayev Icon Mother of God Parish in Florida. Lord, Kim DeForest, we pray for that family, Lord. Kim's family, we pray for healings for Kim um, and uh, Megan. Megan has cancer. And uh, we pray for their son, Ross, for his health and healing for him. And we pray for the husband of that family. Lord, we pray for uh, Jack. Now, Lord, we pray for Nelvia Agnew, who's in hospice, has been in hospice for a little bit here. I haven't heard from her, but we pray, dear Lord, that she has found peace in you. We pray for that. Amen. Well, Lord, Gary Ballard, we thank you for Gary, and uh, he asks us to pray for his health and the health of his wife, Stefania, and for their parents' health, Mary, Ella, and Ellis. We also pray for uh, their children, Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Reynard. We pray for their academic career and life pursuits. Now, we pray for Gary, Lord, that you give him the strength um, to focus and to complete his uh, assignments. And we pray for his friend Daryl, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. And we pray for Kevin, who is recovering from that stroke. We pray for him. Lord, we pray for Maria Marceri. And uh, we pray for her and her family. We pray especially for her sister-in-law, Adina, who's going through chemotherapy. We pray for her husband, Savarillo, and their daughters, Philomena and Georgia. Lord, we pray for Catherine Houston, and we pray for her family. And uh, let me see. We pray for her sister, Patricia, who's undergoing tests to determine, uh, well, she, um, uh, she has a health issue. We pray for healing for Patricia. We pray for uh, a friend of, Su of Catherine's, tongue-tied this morning, no coffee. Well, Lord, we pray for Susan, uh, who's being treated for bone cancer. We pray for Kathy, that she returns to our faith and becomes her best self. We pray for Thomas Duffy. We pray for Thomas, Lord, um, that you heal his heart. We pray for Catherine's son, Brandon, um, and his wife, Nicole, and their little baby daughter, Catherine's granddaughter, Poppy Rose. Now we also pray for Catherine's daughter, Lexi. We pray for John. We pray for uh, uh, Nadine. There's another John that we're praying for. He had successful uh, hip replacement surgery, and we thank you for that. And, uh, Lord, we also pray 
Catherine also asked to pray for Michelle, Donna, Kevin, Keith, and Jan Novak, all suffering from cancer. Lord, we pray for healing for all of them. And uh, let me see. Michael Rager asked to pray for Janice Proctor, who suffers from lung cancer. Lord, we pray for the health of my family. We pray for my granddaughter, Anna, for my granddaughter, Sarah. We pray for uh, my daughter, Maureen, and her family. And we pray for Christina, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for my wife, for her health. We pray for our friends, Ann Bradner, and Jim and Ann Robinson, and Gary Fisher. We pray for our little sister down there in Pennsylvania, Lord, Lena May. We pray for her health and a healing for her. We pray for that, Lord. Heal her. And we pray for her husband. We pray for her daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie. And Lord, we pray for Charlene that she remains cancer free. We pray for my uh, brother, uh, Bernie Grand, Lord. We pray for his health and the health of his mother and a healing for her and Bernie. We pray for Karen Kalanovich. We pray for her health and a healing for her. We pray for her children and her grandchildren. We pray for uh, uh, her son, Chris and Chris's mother-in-law who, for full recovery from that fall. We pray for uh, Karen's grandson, George, for healing, and we pray for uh, Gabe, her grandson who's in the Marines over in, the, in Japan. We pray that you keep him safe. We pray for Kat Zerga and her sister for their health. We pray for the health of Stephanie Acario. We pray for Catherine Salcedo and that family, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that uh, you give them your peace and the Holy Spirit to guide them and help them along. We pray for that. Well, we pray for Catherine, her husband, uh, Raphael. We pray for Bianca and Rodrigo. We pray for little Isio. We pray for John and his children as well. Now, Lord, at St. Michael's Parish in Geneva, my parish, we're praying for uh, Ethel Peters, Aziza Baruti, Stella Sassouris, Enam George, Mary Malark, Barbara Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mater, uh, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Stephen Sharon Toby, Joseph Madiri, Joseph Felix, Stephen Fraser, Michelle Mason, John Showalter, J James Herbert, Charles Thomas, Ruth and Shane Jabera, Marion Canale, Cooper Wolf, Jorge Luqua, Coria Jane Solberg, Coria Jocelyn, Dory Harris, Kelly and Shannon Levy, Jason Post, Michael Abraham, Robert Dearsenio, Steve Rumian, Michael Joseph, uh, John Nicholson, Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey. We pray for Rennie Abraham, Ruth Leo, and George Michael. Amen. We pray that you give them your peace, good health, and healings where necessary. Lord, we pray for our sister, Carmi Simeon. We pray for her, Lord, for her health over there in Geneva, New York. We pray for our brother, Rob King, down in Virginia. We pray for him, Lord, for his health. We pray for the health of Tucker. We pray for Rob's children and grandchildren, for their health, and that they all come home in faith to you. We pray for Rob's sister, Dixie, that you help her with her struggle. And we pray for Judy, that she remains cancer-free. Well, Lord, we pray for Earl and Vicki Winter over there in Nashville, Tennessee. We pray for their health. We pray for uh, Vicki's parents, uh, Martha and Jimmy, down in Tupelo, Mississippi. We pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for the health of Zach and Lindsay and Lindsay's friend Donna. We also pray for Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. We pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health. And we pray for Alyssa Sides. We pray for uh, Alyssa, Lord. Um, she has cancer. We pray for Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. Good to see you. Well, Lord, we pray for Barb. We thank you for bringing her son, Archpriest Michael, back home safely. We thank you for healing him from cancer. Thank you. Pray that he remains cancer-free. And Lord, we pray for Barb, for her health and a healing for her. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister Frances Pappas down there in Greenville, South Carolina. We pray for her health and the health of her family, especially her husband, Dimitri. We pray for uh, Frances' childhood friend, Flora, who suffers from cancer. We pray for her, her parish, St. George's Parish in Greenville. We pray for Father Tom, Father Mike, and the whole congregation there. Lord, we pray for Natalia Klaus over in the Netherlands. We pray for her health, the health of her family, and we pray that you send Natalia the Holy Spirit to uh, help her and guide her. Um, Lord, we pray for Stravula and Ilya Batskos over there in Melbourne, Australia. Lord, we pray for Stravula and Elia for their health and the health of their family. We pray for Marie. We pray for Uncle Demetrius who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you and have mercy on his soul. 
And we pray for his wife, uh, Valencia. We pray for her, Lord, for her health. We pray for uh, Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. Did I mention Marie? We pray for Marie, Lord. And we pray for Aaron, that you heal his heart. We pray for Uncle George, who suffers from cancer. We pray for Katina, whose liver and kidneys are failing, Lord. We pray that you heal her. And we pray that you alleviate her pain and suffering. Now we also pray for uh, Stravula's priest, Father Mark. We pray for full recovery for him from his uh, rather serious surgery. Now, Lord, we pray for Maria Fenton down there in Ocala, Florida. We pray for her health and her special intentions. We pray for her daughter, Felicia, and her family. We pray for Maria's son-in-law, Robert, that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for Morris for his health and special intentions. And we pray for Marilyn that you heal her heart. We pray for uh, Joanne Taylor suffering from cancer. Lord, we pray for our catechumens that they continue to grow in faith in you. At the Holy Spirit uh, Parish in Venice, Florida, we pray for Thomas, Ann, Curtis, Craig, and Melissa. And at the uh, All Saints of America uh, Parish in Homer, Alaska, we pray for Ken and Nancy Klein. We pray for the catechumens at the uh, Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for uh, the three new catechumens at St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois. We pray for uh, the catechumens at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville, Indiana. We pray for the catechumens at St. John Chrysostom Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We pray for the catechumens at uh, St. George's Parish in Fresno, California, Kenneth, Madison, Justin, and Karen. We pray for the catechumens, all 49, 49 of them, Lord, at St. Michael's in Louisville, Kentucky, and that includes Alex Shanera. And that is uh, Alione's Parish. Lord, we pray for our sister, Tina Showalter. We pray for her health and her ministry. We pray especially for her husband, John, um, who has several, who has a couple of health problems. You'll have some procedures this month. And, oh, Lord, we pray for that you return him to good health. Now, Lord, we pray for Tom Abraham and his family, especially Bryn May, and we thank you for all you've done for that little baby. We pray for the health of Joyce Marie and her husband, Tim, we, Joyce asks us to pray for the health and well-being of this prayer group, that you hear our prayers and be glorified in them. We pray for her sister, Janet, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of Janet and Joyce's mother, Granny Joyce, and we pray for all of their children and grandchildren, for your mercy and grace that your will be done in each of their lives. We pray, Lord, for Jolene and Jeremiah, that their households be guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and follow your leading. And, Lord, we pray for Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, that he remains cancer-free. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, Joyce's cousin, Connie, for healing her body and soul, and that she continues to grow in faith in you. And, Lord, we pray for St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, together with Father Mark, who must be very busy. Okay, and we pray for him, and we pray for uh, with his three new catechumens. We pray for him, and we pray for Mary Mary's Market and the whole congregation there. And uh, we pray to the Lord for uh, your blessings in All Saints Parish in Chicago, together with Father Andrew and Father Patrick Reardon. Well, Lord, we pray for jo Joanne Manaski out there in Phoenix. We pray for her. She asks to pray for her cousin Mark, who's fallen asleep. We pray that you have mercy on him. And we pray for our family friend Claire, who suffers from cancer. Now, Lord, we also pray for uh, Joanne's daughter Erin and her husband Andrew. Help them with their struggles. And we pray to your Lord for... Uh, Aaron's, or Joanne's uh, son, Corey, and her, her three brothers, Eugene, Stephen, and Paul. We pray for their health and healings. We pray for her uh, great niece, Madison. Uh, we pray for a healing for her, Lord. We pray for the health of Rachel. We pray for uh, Joel, who has fallen asleep. We pray, dear Lord, that you have mercy on his soul. We pray for, uh, let me see, Jackie and Bev. We thank you, Lord, for healing them from cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we also pray for Jack, who you healed from cancer. Keep them all cancer-free. We pray for Randy, who does suffer from cancer, and we pray for Randy's caregiver, Jude. Lord, we pray for Amy Green. We pray for her, Lord. Uh, I know she had that biopsy taken, and uh, we pray that it returned negative for cancer. We pray for that. And, Lord, we pray for Amy, Amy's husband, Eric. We pray for them both, for their health, their faith, Eric's business, and Amy's students. We also pray for their daughters, Sarah and Natalie, and uh, future 
son-in-law, Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you and help them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. We pray for Eric, Amy's mother, Lois. We pray for her physical, emotional, and spiritual health. We pray for the health of Eric's parents, Glenn and Grace. We pray for Amy's brother, Rick, and his crew, first responders. Please keep them safe. We pray for Randy, who has fallen asleep. We pray that you uh, have mercy on him. We pray for Tabitha, Austin, and Naomi for their health. We pray for Clementine, Terrence, and Sean for health and endurance. We pray for Christina and Teresa. And Lord, we pray that you relieve them of those migraine headaches. For this we pray, Lord. Amen. We also pray for the for Lauren and Ryder, mother and son. We pray for their health. And we pray that Lauren can find a uh, permanent place to live. And Lord, we pray for Levi and his parents, little Levi, two-year-old little boy suffering from cancer. We pray, dear Lord, that you, uh, and the news has been good. So we pray, dear Lord, for a full recovery for Levi. We pray for his parents, Dustin and Jessica. Give them strength and hope and courage. Amen. We pray for Belle, Andrea, and their families for healing and strength. We pray for Pam, Jay, and Christina for healings. And, Lord, we pray for Rosemary and Imogene. They're both in uh, nursing homes. And, Lord, we pray that you protect them and keep them healthy. Lord, we pray for Debbie Owen. We pray for her, Lord, that uh, you make life a little less complicated, a little less stressful. We pray for that. We pray for success for her private practice, and we pray for her father's vision. Now, Lord, we pray for Debbie's uh, husband, Matt, and we pray for their children, Geo, Jordan, Eleanor. Did I forget? Yeah. We pray for Maya. I'm going to do this in order. Amaya, uh, Clara, Geo, Jordan, and Eleanor. We pray for them all, Lord. Keep them healthy. Keep them safe. Help them to make good decisions in their lives and bring them closer in faith to you. Yeah, for that we pray. And Lord, we pray especially for Geo that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him along. Now, we also pray for Debbie's friends, Yelena and Masha, for their health, and we pray for Lori, who suffers from cancer. And it's this time of the morning, we always go see if Joseph is here, and yes, he is. And uh, he has a, uh, oh, from Proverbs this morning, good, uh, a verse from Proverbs. Discretion will preserve you, understanding will keep you. Good words, good words. Well, Lord, we pray for Joseph. We pray for uh, his health and that you protect him. And, Lord, we pray uh, for uh, his ministries, that they continue to be pleasing to you and a blessing to all those touched by them, as we just were. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, Lord, we pray for his two sons, Toby and Luke, that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them and guide them in just a second. <laughs> Okay. So, Lord, we, as I was saying, we pray for Toby and Luke, that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them and guide them in their lives. And we pray for Luke, that you protect him from all infections. We pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. And we pray for uh, uh, Joseph's mother, Odette, for healing from cancer. And uh, we pray for the health and healing for Renia, his wife. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Robin and Pippin. Keep them healthy. Keep them strong. And we pray, dear Lord, that you heal Robin's eyes and uh, improve her vision. We pray for that. We also pray for Robin's father, Robert. We pray that you have mercy on him as he has fallen asleep. And we pray for uh, Robin's mother, Carolyn. Keep, we pray for her health. We pray for the health of Malia and a healing for her. We pray for Malia's mother, Lori. We pray for Francis, that you bring Francis back to good health. And we pray for Gary, that little boy who had the surgery. We pray for a Full recovery from his surgery. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for our brother Jonathan Nichols, and we thank you for Jonathan. We thank you, dear Lord, that you healed him of that cancer. Now we pray that he remains cancer-free. We pray for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff, and Christina. We pray for their health and healings for them. And, Lord, Stefan Bennett asked to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide who are guiding their flocks during this very, very trying time. Well, Lord, I pray for Father Gregory and St. Michael's, my priest. We pray for his ministry. We pray for Father Constantinos at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission in Kenya. We pray for Father Antipas <coughs> in Nairobi. We pray for uh, 
Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi. Lord, we pray for Father Demetrius Laosis at uh, St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida. Amy Green asks to pray for Father Joseph at St. George's Parish in Lynchburg, Virginia. We pray for Stelio's uh, priest, Father Theodore and Nectarios. We pray for Kath Christina Hunter's priest, Father Simon. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Father Daniel Hackney. That's uh, He's at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville. That's Michael and Joyce Rager's priest. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Suriel, and for her godson, Father Nick. We pray for Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragan Mitrovic, Father Andrew Short, that's Julie DeMond's priest. We pray for Father Adam Roberts at St. Paul's near Houston. We pray for Alioni's priest, Fathers Ephraim and Lucas, and we pray for Father Seraphim as well. We pray for Gary Ballard's priest, Father Thomas Newland at uh, St. Sophia's in San Antonio. We pray for uh, Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. Uh, Raymond Cannon asks to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. We pray for uh, Father John Parcells, that's the Robin Armstrong's priest at Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. And we pray for these priests, Lord, for their ministries, for their health and their families. We pray for Mother Elizabeth, for her health, her ministry, and her family. We pray for our bishops, bishops Daniel, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander. We pray for them, Lord, for their health, their ministries, and their families as well. And get ready for tonight. So, Lord, now it's time to go around and see if there's any other prayer requests this morning. And let me see here. Debbie Owen, good morning to you. Good morning, Debbie Owen. And let me see. Oh, there's Rob. Good morning, Rob King. Good morning. My friend Mike is having another surgery, trying to avoid him from losing his leg. Please pray for Mike and his surgeons today. Lord, we pray for Mike, Rob's friend. And uh, Lord, we pray for successful surgery for him. And they can keep that leg. We pray for that. And we pray for his surgeons that they that you give them the, the uh, strength, the wisdom, and the skill to perform a successful surgery. We pray for that. Amen. Maritain, good morning, everyone. Well, Dublin Island is here, and there's Athenite. Good morning to you. And, uh, well, Barb Anderson, Rob says, extending prayers to you, Barb. And uh, let me see here. Amber Tremaine, please pray for Kaulana, my co-worker who has been having issues with her car. She's a hardworking single mom of four. Pray for reliable transportation and that I would continue to trust and that she continues to trust in the Lord. Lord, pray for Kalua, Kaluna, Kaluna. We pray for her, Lord. We pray that you strengthen her. And uh, she's got a big task, mother of four, Lord, and uh, single mother. We pray for her, Lord. Help her along. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you help her with those uh, car issues. We pray for that. Amen. Transportation. And we thank you for Amber. Yeah, we do, Lord. Thank you. And also, Amber adds, and that Kaluna doesn't become discouraged or get anxious for her finances. Yeah, always that with four kids to feed, plus yourself. Lord, help her. Help Kaluna. We pray for that. Amen. And just double checking here. So, Lord, we ask you to remember and have mercy on all those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you extend your healing hands and all those who are suffering physically emotionally and spiritually, Lord. We ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And, Lord, we pray that the, your mother, the Most Holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us in our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. And, Lord, we pray that our, our saints, today we venerate the chains of St. Peter. Well, Lord, we pray that St. Peter remembers us and our prayer intentions and his prayers when he prays. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, 
who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death. Lord, we ask that you visit and uh, heal uh, all those that we have prayed for this morning. And Lord, we pray that you grant them release from pain and restoration, health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> well, friends, we'll see you again tonight. It's our Akathist. And, uh, and tonight we're praying for those who have fallen asleep. So if you have anyone you want us to pray for who's fallen asleep, who's passed on, please join us tonight. Put their names this evening into the uh, comment section, and we'll pray for them. Amen. So, we've already mentioned the two very important things in our lives. One, remember that God loves you. and He really does. And two, we love each other. And we really, really, really do. Amen. So, until tonight, may God bless us all. Let's have a good day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>